Hi, I am the developer of Gratuitous Space Battles 2 and uh, this is just a short video to sort of show you some of the new features that we just added in version 1.31. Um, so you can probably tell immediately there is a new feature in that there is this thing, Custom Battle, um, which I'll give you a quick example of. If you go into the normal battle Active screen, battle mode. you get this where there's uh, a certain number of like preset scenarios that are designed with um, with AI enemies for you to fight against. If we go into the custom battle, it's loaded the, the last thing that I was working on, but basically you can create a scenario from scratch. So we can forget about this one. Um, or I can edit this one, in fact. So you can just like grab elements. Um, that's the shift key that lets me use the, the mouse wheel to do that. Um, you can hit delete and just get rid of that, maybe add that nebula instead, um, zoom in on that perhaps, whatever. You can have multiple ones but they'll kind of overlap in a slightly ugly way, so you probably just want to pick one, um, and of course you can have as many planets wherever you want, blah blah blah. Um, and also stars, there's, there's a star here, you just don't really have one as it will get a bit confused and that looks fairly low-key but actually the um, the lens flare is pretty intense actually in the game you can make it huge if you you know if you're nuts um, so there you go um, also you need to set whether the player is actually going to deploy their ships um, and where the AI will I mean that could be anywhere but um, we'll just do the traditional left and right thing there and if we go into options, there's all this kind of fun stuff where you can set how many pilots and how big the map is. Um, you can change the, the foreground and background um, brightness. It's just recalibrating those asteroids as I do it. Um, so you can have, you know, complete blackness if you want or, you know, however you'd like it. The same with bloom and foreground, although you can't really tell that here. Um, you can have these like nebula cloud things um, if you like that and have whatever colour of them you want let's just turn those off though uh, you can change the default ship angle that is the angle that a ship faces when you first drag it onto the map although you can edit that on the deployment screen with each ship and then you can have asteroids so you can have a belt um, or you can have a, a, like a field like that and then, you know loads of them or not many of them this isn't actually the amount of asteroids you get, it's just like representative, you, you, there's a lot more than that. Um, and if you do want a belt, you, it's always a sort of vertical belt I'm afraid, but um, you know, you can you can fiddle about with all this stuff. Um, so let's go with that anyway, that's all saved automatically. Um, then you've got anomalies, so you can, you know, make dreadnoughts inoperable or change the range of weapons on this map, uh, you know, whatever you might like. Um, so we've prevented gunships and fighters on this particular map. So, um, let's call that custom map 2, just for the variety. Um, so I'm going to save that, it's custom map 2, blah blah blah. Then if I click on deploy, it take, takes me into the normal deployment screen. Um, but what I'm going to do here, you'll notice there's no difficulties is swap fleet so I'm going to put down the the AI I'm just going to do a really simple test to you know prove to you that it works I could do that swap fleet um, and put down a different fleet so basically you can design both sides you can also issue this as a, as a challenge so you're then only you're only issuing it as a, as a normal challenge with your fleet but basically you can now issue custom challenges with any size map, um, any design of map, etc. Blah blah. Um, so that should be it. Click fight. Just a bit of caching of graphics I haven't used in a while. Enemy fleet detected ahead. And there we go. We have a custom map, and there's our enemies, and there's us. So that's the first new feature that we got. Um, custom maps and a kind of like uh, battle simulator where you can set up both sides which is something that a lot of people have asked for um, okay I'm gonna show you a few other things now yes I am sure if I just 
go back to the main Galactic menu battle mode and activated. pick this, but not with that fleet. Um, what I want is something that has... Turn these off for a minute. Something that has limpets, because there's just a little change. Oh, limpet demo cruiser. It's bound to have them, isn't it? Um, so I'm just going to watch this battle. Pay no attention to the designers of the ships, which I'll uh, talk about in a minute. Cash, cash, cash. Enemy fleet detected ahead. All right, this is a, a, a mission you'll have seen before. Um, now you may or may not have used limpets. What I'm going to do is just zap ahead until some of them actually launch. Is this a ship that has limpets? It does. It does have limpets. Okay, there we go. Alright, I'll we'll just um, pause. Um, that there's a repair limpet, so it's flying out to repair a damaged ship there. And uh, some people get annoyed when there's hundreds of them, and you can see this GUI. Now, if you hit U, you can turn the whole GUI off, but you may not like that. So it's a new option to just turn off the limpet GUI here and keep everything else where it is. Some people ask for that, and there you go, it's in. Okay, quitting out of that, I'm just gonna show you probably the coolest thing. Well, I think it's the coolest thing anyway. Galactic battle mode activated. Uh, ship design. Right, this is gonna seem really trivial, but it's, it's absolutely not. If I go into visuals, you won't recognize this design of ship. Um, and you won't until I hit this and turn on the hull. So this is a new thing now. If you, if you select a normal thing, uh, a, a normal component, toggle hidden isn't there. But if you select the hull, it's going to be quite hard to do now, probably. Oh, I hadn't thought that through. Oh, there we go. Um, then you get this extra option of toggle hidden, which completely hides it. You can see it there, it's still selected. Um, and it's important that it's still selectable because if I change colours it will change the colours of the turrets because turrets take their colouring from the hull. So uh, we'll just put that back as it was. I actually fixed a bug to do with um, turrets so you can see there that their little sort of laser podule things don't tint when you tint them so it doesn't look silly. Um, that was a bug. So you can now hide the hull. I mean kind of who cares. Um, actually it, it everyone should care. <laughs> because it's really cool. It means you can build a ship with absolutely no preconception of how it should be like other than the position of the turrets. The turrets have to stay where they are. Now the reason for that is for the sake of balance otherwise everyone's gonna have a row of turrets at the front. <laughs> um, so I don't want that because it would look silly. So um, you, you can now kind of like start from scratch. If I get rid of everything in this um, that's that's all you've got so you, you can see those turrets better if I do that so you can absolutely start from scratch and build pretty much everything you want if I load in uh, one of my little tests of this test one that wasn't it um, no hole test there we go I was playing about with the design of um, some of the GSP B1 ships. Uh, so you can do crazy stuff like this, um, which is kind of kind of cool. Um, uh, I've also picked something else that may have driven a few people nuts. I didn't realise it was going wrong, but it was. Um, I'll demonstrate what I'm talking about. If I just get rid of all of that uh, and I put this in, this is a composite object, and you can uh, split that composite and then like move bits about, and that's great. But it used to be that if you um, rotated it and then split it, everything went wrong. But it doesn't anymore. It's fine. Um, so you can do a lot more fun with uh, composite objects being rotated and used. And hopefully people will use them a little bit more. Um, oh, one last thing. If we go to limpets, um, I, I've added uh, some new stuff here so that you can see their top seeking speed and their limpet weight which don't vary massively, but at least now you can see it. I'm sure modders are going to come out with like the advanced limpet pack, and, you know, whatever, stuff like that. 
So these are some of the changes. Actually, if I just go back, I'll show you what they're. Galactic ships. battle mode activated. Okay, here we are. So I'm just proving that um, the system works, and you can have uh, ships with basically an invisible hull. So you've kind of designed them completely from scratch. So hopefully that gives ship designers some some like more freedom than they had to design some really crazy stuff. Uh, so that's it, that's the changes in version 1.31, I'm going to think about campaign stuff next. Um, but, you know, hopefully you you like this stuff. I think the combination of ships that you can completely build from scratch and custom scenarios means that they're going to get a lot more use out of the challenge stuff and um, hopefully see some really creative stuff in the Steam Workshop and generally in terms of mods. Okay, thanks, and if you like the game, please leave a, a good review of it and tell your buddies. Thank you.